I'm Cheryl Haynes and I'm the Executive Director of the Foresight Foundation and the Curator of International Orange. The title of the exhibition is named for the signature color of the Golden Gate Bridge. And it contains the work of 15 artists specifically invited for their diversity of ideas in addressing this important historic moment, the 75th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. As a curator, it's a very rare honor and opportunity to be allowed to actually work in a historic structure inside of a national park. Our partners, the National Park Service, the Conservancy, and the Golden Gate Bridge District have been absolutely fantastic in making this happen. The bridge is a work of art itself. Uh, so what better way to tell its story uh, than through artists. And uh, way back when, before there was a national park system, uh, artists depicting these places were important to convincing Congress that a national park system should be put in place. Well, I think, get back to Joseph Strauss. He was a dreamer. And to be an artist, you have to be a dreamer. You have to see things differently. I think his dreams of what he wanted this to be, that he wanted it to be functional and beautiful, and something that, because of the setting, that it would be something that would stand out to people from all over the world. Uh, the bridge symbolizes the Bay Area's welcoming to the world community. So it gives us the opportunity to uh, share our history and our present and our future. It gives us the opportunity to remember what common vision and uh, common purpose can accomplish. Uh, and finally, I think it is a work of art. That's why it is so beloved, because of its beauty as much as anything else. Uh, so to have artists uh, through Fortsight Foundation right at the bridge itself, uh, many of them interpreting this work of art through their own art could not be more fitting. One of the things I found was a real challenge with, for the artists was that um, it's such an iconic structure that they were almost hesitant to address it head on because they didn't want to make another postcard or poster. I mean, it's just so beautiful in and of itself, but to come up with a unique way of telling the story. Uh, and, and you know with an artist, they will not look at it in the same way that we all have. They will bring a new dimension, a new story, a new angle, a new discovery to light, so they will be uh, reinventing and revitalizing the bridge for all of us. In searching for a location, I thought I wanted to have it within proximity of the bridge. I wanted to have it in a place that was steeped in history. And that's when I came up with the idea of Fort Point. Joseph Strauss, the architect and engineer of the bridge, he was told that, that the bridge had to be the same on both sides, on both ends of the bridge. But Fort Point, uh, was on one side of the bridge and he just couldn't believe that anybody would be willing to tear down Fort Point because he thought it was such a gorgeous place. So what he did is he ended up adding an extra arch that goes over Fort Point and his dream was to have it, be, have it remain and be as beautiful as it is today. I was just immediately taken with the aesthetic of the place. I mean it is really one of the most remarkable architectural moments here in San Francisco in my mind. And I thought how wonderful to be able to enliven that space and to actually bring it, not only addressing the history of it, but, but bring it into this current moment. In some ways the biggest danger that faces these amazing places we care about is that people might take them for granted. And for America's landmarks and national treasures, it was hard work to save them or build them or put them in place. Artists can help remind us uh, that these places are important to our lives, uh, that they need an, an, an emotional connection of people that care about them, uh, and that they have vitality for our future as well.